back to contextual electronics. This is going to be a video about the user grid uh, for footprints. So we're going to actually recreate a footprint using the user grid. So to do so, let's open up GuyCAD Launcher. And then we are in our example project. Let's also open up PCB New. Oh, those are old ones there. We can get rid of those. And we're going to create a new footprint here in the module editor. Good, good. All right, so let's see what our grid's set at right now. Looks like it's set to, we're in inches, it's set to 0.1 millimeters. So let's change it over to one mil. Oh, that's way too small. <laughs> How about 10 mils? There we go, nice and big. All right, so uh, we want to create a brand new uh, part in a standard library. So we're going to done this before we'll call this test uh, user grid okay Our usual things here so we're gonna move this stuff around move this around all right now we're gonna drop a pad looks good it is a through hole pad it's circular it's got a 23.6 mil drill Change that to 25, and then the annular the rings at 39.37. Uh, Let's change that to 40. All right, so that was obviously set in millimeters. All right, so now if we wanted to create another pad, what we would do is we would kind of pick it out. We might, rel <coughs> in the past, I've shown two other ways of doing this. One is to just kind of rel it out here, right? So we, s we hit the space bar and we make that zero zero in the DX version down or the DX region DXY um, and then we can figure out okay well right now we're about 150 mils away and we can then oh, we actually have to create one there so we're going to do one about 150 mils away there we go that's 150 mils away okay now that's good however if we want to do that again we have to say we're doing a I don't know 40 pin part we have to actually keep on creating these terrible oh, look at that I mean so we've done that before the other way we've done this is we actually go in we hit edit and then from here we can hit the position right so if we're doing 15 150 mils per we can go 0 0.300 oh, 0 0.300 and then this one we can edit to do 0 0.45 right and then it actually creates a grid there okay so those are both f fine ways of doing it and and uh, you know that's a reliable way of doing it. However, it's a little slow. The first one's much slower than the second, and the second's much slower than this method I'm going to show you here. So let's go ahead and delete all of these. All right. Now, what we can do? Okay, so say we're going to do 150 mils between pins, and we'll keep we'll keep the through hole like we showed there. Uh, the thing we want to do now is or we're going to set 150 mils between pins. And then we're going to do a, a four-row uh, grid of pins, right? So maybe for a connector where it's 150 mils between pins, and then it's 250 in the Y direction. Let's move this up a little bit here. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to say, we're going to right-click, select, select grid select, and then go to user grid. What we're going to do here is, Okay, so we select the user grid, we go up here, we go to dimensions, user grid size, and then set the X and 150, set Y, 250, like we said. And now we see, look at this, so we're snapping now from these smaller positions, now we're at these really, really big positions. So we label this as one again. All right, and now we can just snap each one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And you can see this would be very useful, especially as you start doing ball grid arrays and other high density components, where you really want to have a very, very precise spacing and you want to be able to quickly go through the. Uh oh, oh, shoot. I thought I had it there. All right, I'm gonna have to rename that one to 33. Uh, I double double click that one. All right, so we're at 33. P 
pin again. 34, 35, 36, 38, 39, 40. All right, so we just did 40 pins, whereas that might have taken... Oh, I, don't even, I don't even know how, know how long that would have taken. We had to do the math, make sure the math's all right. Now we have a grid. We just went along, and we simply did uh, easy calculation for all this. Now we did the same thing here. Look at the the grid size is also applying for the drawing of the outline, right? So it doesn't have to be like that. We could also switch the grid to be a little bit more friendly for drawing as well uh, if we wanted to. So it's just it's a nice, easy way to create gridded components here. We don't need to even even the text moves like that, right? We want to switch back here to 10 mils or something like that. And um, however, uh, you know, this is an easy way to quickly create a wide range of components. So there we go. We just did a 40 pin part in I don't know what, maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds. So uh, user grid is definitely useful for setting up your grid and then quickly iterating through the amount of pins that you want to do there. Thank you for watching.